Okay, I just changed. I guess I just need to have thicker skin. to another YouTube video. My name is Lauren if you're new. Today I'm going to be filming a work week in my life. I haven't done one in a few months so I figured I should. One and two, I actually just recently got a job promotion so I guess a little background on me. I do have a few other work week in my life on my YouTube channel so I will link them all down below. Monday through Friday, I work in a shared office space, so I do commercial real estate. So there's tons of different companies that work out of our floor. I set up their offices, that means building furniture, moving furniture, arranging furniture, how they want it. I get their Wi-Fi set up to the copy machine, I do invoicing, I do all of our billing, vendor invoicing and approvals, basically moving in and moving out clients and then helping on a day-to-day. -day. So this week is actually billing week. So every first of the month we bill everyone. So invoices go out around the 15th and then we bill everyone on the first. So it's kind of a busier week in that sense, which takes a little bit of time. I definitely have to set aside a few hours to get it all done. But, um, so that's one thing. I think today I have to move furniture around. I'd have to double check. So that's basically what I do as a client services manager. So I have a lot more responsibility, a lot more things fall on my shoulders with this promotion. So I'm excited to bring you guys along for this work week in my life. Okay, also if you hear me whispering, I live with my boyfriend and I'm in the second bedroom but he's in the first bedroom and we moved into this apartment a few months ago and there's hardwood floors and sound just travels so easily so if you hear me whispering that is why okay I just changed I am probably gonna put my hair up but I just got these pants from Zara I'm not wearing shoes yet and they're really really good they have an elastic band on the back and they're high-waisted. I'm 5'2 for reference. And then this is just like a basic black long sleeve from Zara as well and then a lily clasp necklace. I'll link everything down below. Probably gonna put my hair up and then I'm just gonna wear black flats, which is what I usually wear is flats. But I just got these pants over the weekend and they're really good. So I'll link them. So I usually meal prep my lunch, but yesterday I made two crock pots full of chili. So I'm gonna have leftover chili today and then I'm gonna come home and meal prep 
the rest of the week's lunches. I'm gonna bring some Greek yogurt to put on top, it's like sour cream. And then for breakfast, I usually bring it to work because I'm not super hungry this early, but let me show you. So I usually bring these to work. I got these from Costco, the big box, but I'm sure you can find them in the frozen section at grocery stores in smaller boxes, but they come like this. So I'm gonna take one of these and then I'm also gonna take some sourdough bread. So I have my lunch packed and my breakfast is in there. I just use these Lululemon bags. I've been using them for a while. And whenever you go to Lululemon, you can just use them and then I basically use them till they fall apart. So eventually they get like a little hole in them or something. And I bring my computer to work strictly for editing videos. I don't need this for like work work, just only YouTube. So I edit videos on my lunch break, my bag, and then I bring this water bottle. So this is one of the best water bottles. I can link it down below. The only thing that I don't like about it is that it does sweat, but I drink two of these a day. So I'll fill this all the way up and then at two o'clock, I'll try and be done with it and then refill it back up. And then it will get me through the rest of the day and a workout. So I'll link it down below. If you put it in the dishwasher, the words come off, but I just go based off of when I first wake up, two o'clock, and then again. Normally I would change into workout clothes and go head down to the apartment gym and walk on the treadmill, run on the treadmill, then do a weighted workout. But if you saw, I moved a ton of furniture today. I was moving furniture for the last hour and a half that I was at work and I don't feel the need to go and work out. I feel like that'd be super overdoing it for me. 
so I'm not going to go and work out. I'll work out tomorrow. But I didn't complete the furniture moving. So I guess we'll see on if I work out tomorrow. Depending, I have to move a ton more furniture tomorrow. So I don't know if I'll work out tomorrow either. I don't know. It's just, when you're moving furniture and you're sweating, I'm burning a ton of calories. I'm like pushing heavy furniture. I just don't feel the need to go and work out. So I'm not gonna do that. prep my lunches I just washed my Tupperware I just got new Tupperware I decided to upgrade to glass Tupperware I just got it yesterday from Bed Bath & Beyond I can link it just in case you're in need of some Tupperware but I'm gonna change my laundry really quick and then I will come back and we'll start cooking this is a great way to be on a budget when it comes to like eating lunch during the week I calculated my monthly cost on lunches if I meal prep and I only spend about $35 to $40 a month just on lunches for the week. Um, I spend a little bit more now because I'm meal prepping for a Christian, but if I was just buying the big bag of rice, this, and which is frozen peas and ground beef, I'd be spending like $40 a month just on lunches for the week and that's 16 meals for 40 bucks so i think that's a great budget it's even probably under 40 dollars honestly but somewhere around 40 dollars it's a really cheap way to eat and then you have more money to either save or go out to dinner on the weekends or spend however you want so this is definitely like a budget friendly meal without a doubt so I wanted to share it with you guys. We buy all of our meats from Costco. If you don't have a Costco membership or a Sam's Club membership, definitely invest in it. A lot of their stuff does come vacuum sealed. So their ground beef, which is what I'm gonna be using today, comes vacuum sealed already. So you just separate them and put it in the freezer and you can just pull it out, thaw it, and cook it up. Their chicken also comes vacuum sealed. The only thing that doesn't is their salmon and their like steaks and stuff like that. So I'm gonna be using the ground beef, jasmine rice, and then you already saw my big bag of peas. So that's what I cook for lunch. I'll occasionally switch up my rice, switch up your veggie. I'm gonna go ahead and start cooking this. Okay, this is what I'm going to season the ground beef with, this 21 seasoning salute. It's so good from Trader Joe's salt, pepper, and then garlic powder. It's that easy, that's all you need, and it tastes really good. Here is the finished product of the meal prep. So these are my four containers, <laughs> and we cooked chili yesterday in the crock pot, so all of our matching containers are being used by the leftover chili that's in the freezer. So, this is Christian's assortment of meal prep. Christian just got home and we're cooking dinner, cooking Brussels sprouts in the air fryer. We're gonna do couscous and Christian's cooking the chicken in a pan. This is what I put on the Brussels sprouts last week. It was balsamic and honey after they're done cooking and it was so good, so I'm gonna do it again. The first time I cooked it, I cooked it in the oven and they came out really soft. So we're trying to cook it in the air fryer to crisp them up and then put these on top of it with salt and pepper.
it's the next day it's tuesday this is what i'm wearing for work today so this is like a white collared shirt looks like it's about this long and then i just have it tucked into these pants they're high-waisted pants they look like that this is how long they are i don't have my shoes on yet i just got both of them from zara and this is also a ribbed top as well these pants i have in five colors so i'm obsessed with them they fit really well true to size the only issue with these pants is that there is no stretch so if you think that will be an issue size up but i'm wearing an extra small in the pants and an extra small in the top So I'm going to be moving all of these desks in here out and replacing them with ones without the returns and new chairs. And then these desks will go in another office probably after lunch. That's when I'll move all the desks out and then replace them. What a long day of work, moving furniture. I think you can just tell that I'm just so beat and worn and it's only Tuesday. So I got a package from Amazon. We're gonna open it together. This is the good part of the day, but it's just a long day. Like moving furniture is really rough. Those desks can get really heavy. Like it's Especially the big executive desks, they're just really heavy to move. Sorry, it's like packaged like this. But um, I ordered something off Amazon. Let's get let's bring up the mood. I'm gonna I think I'm gonna work out a little bit, do as much as I can. They didn't put it in a box. They just bubble wrapped it. So I got some cuts. They didn't put it in a box or anything. Which I, it's so weird because they're glass cups. Oh, and they look like this. Wow. They're actually really nice quality. So cute though. They look so expensive and elegant. I think they were they were still 20 bucks a piece. And they took a little bit to get here. I think I ordered them two weeks ago. Iced coffee in the morning. Sorry that I look so exhausted and my energy is so down, but I mean, this kind of brought it up. I love some new cups. But I'll link them down below just in case you wanna up here morning coffee or even just water game here is what i'm wearing to the apartment gym it's just a I think this is just a basic tee from forever 21 i they have stuff like this all the time sorry my washer is going off but um, i'm just wearing a two-piece set from set active it's in their core collection color so i think they keep it all the time in this color so i'll try and link this and the sports bra
nothing I want more than this after a long day for cheese ravioli. We just finished up dinner. I wanted to share this, even though I just shared it in a recent what I eat in a day. I do this basically every single night. I do one to two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar in a glass, and then I mix it with a raspberry lime spindrift, and then I just drink it right before bed, basically every night. It's been a part of my routine for a really long time. I just love the benefits that I get and feel from drinking apple cider vinegar every day. I am going to bed right now. Wednesday morning if you have seen any of my work week in my life sin I think you know what day it is at my job it's bagel Wednesday it's probably besides Friday my favorite day of the week because I go to Einstein bagels and I pick up a bunch of bagels I get to have a bagel for breakfast I can't tell you a better way to start the work day than with a bagel this is what I looked forward to this morning, drinking out of my new cup. I love it. And it is also National Coffee Day. Should I get a Starbucks because it's National Coffee Day? Maybe I'll do that. Just to, you know, celebrate National Coffee Day with Starbucks. But um, I went to bed so early last night. I went to bed at like 8.50, right before 9 o'clock, and I just like knocked out. I feel when you move furniture like your forearms hurt like your whole body hurts it feels like you just did like a full body workout two days in a row and it just like wears on you I mentioned it before and I'm like not complaining in any way because I love doing YouTube and I love documenting but um, sometimes it's really hard to do both it's really hard to work come home and film Sometimes I'm sorry if um, I seem tired or anything like that. Sometimes it's just a little rough to do it all, but um, to change. So I have to change and go get the bagels and I will talk to you guys in a little bit. This is what I'm wearing to work today. It's a blue sweater from Zara. I have this sweater in four colors. And I just recently got this blue color. I'll link it down below. And then these white pants from Zara. They have an elastic band in the back. So they, they stay up on your waist. This necklace is from Georgiana to kind of add something. Okay, <laughs> bagels are picked up. Now time to go to the office.
for dinner. It's vacuum sealed. We get it from Costco and then we just vacuum seal it and put it in the freezer. And the salmon comes with this basil pesto butter on top and it's already like seasoned and ready to go. Christian likes his with Old Bay seasoning. He likes it with the Old Bay seasoning, so I'm gonna season his with a lot of it because that's what he likes. Okay, here is the outfit for today. Another full Zara outfit. So this button up top has this detail on the sleeve. It's floral, just have it tucked in to my pants, but it goes long. So you could totally wear it with pants that aren't high rise. And then these pants are from Zara. They're just another one of those colored pants, just like the blue ones that I wore on Tuesday, I think. Hair up and then my hoops are from Love AJ. to the gym and this is what I'm wearing it's just a set active set in blue which is my favorite color so I just want to show you the gym outfit before I head to the gym It's a nice fall looking outfit without getting too hot, if that makes sense. So it looks fall with the mock neck, but you're not getting too hot just in case you live anywhere like Florida. And you still want to look fall, but you don't want to die <laughs> of a heat stroke. 
So I'm just wearing this ribbed mock neck. It's really stretchy too, top from Zara. And then I am wearing this long cardigan from Shein and it has like a split sleeve detail on the side. And these pants that you've seen before are from Zara as well. So this is the outfit. My hair is also really dirty, so I just braided it. It goes. I just tried stock cold brew for the first time and it is so good. Okay, so I'm back home. I just applied a fake tan, if you can tell, because my neck doesn't match my face. <laughs> um, I just wanted to end off this vlog. Today was rough. It ended really rough. Um... I guess I just need to have thicker skin when it comes to like certain situations but boy oh boy <sighs> being young is hard when older people don't take you seriously I'm just gonna say that but I'm going to also say my dad always says like oh well like oh well and you can't make people like you and you can't like this is work wise and even youtube wise um when you go to work you can't make people like you people are going to have their own perception and their own view of you and um it sucks but over my course of two and a half years with my company i've come across a few people that just aren't so kind and even with youtube there's people that just like aren't so kind and i need to realize work wise youtube wise not everyone's gonna like you and that has just nothing to do with you like keep as long as you are true to yourself and you're living a life and you are doing right and being kind there's nothing wrong with you <laughs> like there's nothing wrong with you. It's a them problem, not a you problem. And that's just something that I need to realize like, oh, well, not everyone's going to like me. And I need to not force certain people to like me. So if you're dealing with that work wise, I know it's it's so rough, so rough because we do go to the work, the office with or work in general with the same people and there's just bound to be certain things that happen but boy does it suck i need to be stronger i need to build up my thick skin because my career is in customer service and i just need to realize like it's a them problem it's not a me problem and i hope you guys realize that too work is hard life is hard having relationships with people is is hard and just don't beat yourself up over not being able to have positive relationships with everyone because it's just not going to work out like that so <laughs> sorry for that end of the vlog rant but i just wanted to end with that because i know we all go somewhere during the week whether it's school work whatever and we're all going to come across people that are just not going to treat us so great. And it's up to us to not react in a way that makes us feel less of ourselves. Because it has more to do with that person projecting whatever issues they have onto you and that's them. So you got to remove yourself from that situation. Realize like, look, I'm staying true to myself. I know that I'm leading a life full of love, positivity, and all that. And that's all that matters. So anyways, I'm going to end off this video right here. I hope you guys enjoyed this work week of my life. It was probably one of my favorites that I've ever done. I feel like I showed a lot of the office things that I could show 
obviously some things I can't show and most of most of the things I can't show but I tried to show what I can and I really hope you guys enjoyed it I'll do more work weeks in my life in the future so make sure you're subscribed give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys soon bye